Hey, what is up, mate? This is Theodor Poison Brain Productions. Okay, I had to do this intro after a while. Now I'm really excited because today we're going to get into continuing our dual dive beat in general. So this means we're not going to focus only on leads or only on drums. We're going to focus on getting moving on that beat because nothing is more greater, you know, than having tangible process. Let's get straight into this right after the intro. Let's go. Now here we are at our session and let's see duration wise what happens, you know, with this beat, with the, this drill die beat. So first of all, I'm going to play this back. We have our intro and we have also some effects. So our hats kick in here and then and then also our 808 kick in here. Okay, very very simple. So I'm using FX which is something we haven't shown in any of the previous beats. And you know, I love FX and this is because they make it so alive as long as it comes to, you know, to make it a full duration, to make it more realistic and also giving a character to the beat. Too many times you will hear in beats, uh, in drill dive beats that they have, you know, this uh, gun reloading and uh, gun shooting and maybe even, you know, police, sirens, uh, all the type of stuff, which are all these things that I have included also in my drill dive beat here. As you can hear, uh, we have an explosion for the intro. Okay, we have an impact effects, the same. So this means uh, we have also a caliber 45. Okay, three shots, but they're delayed actually. And we have also a sub job, which is really interesting here. So sub drops, risers and sweeps and even white noise can make extremely interesting your drill die beat or any type of beat in general. So I would highly suggest you to go ahead and do and download packs that have that include some these types of reflex sweeps, risers, sub drops, and even you can you can create your own sub job here or in any other synth. Okay, so let's listen again to the whole FX section on its own. Okay, I also have included here the conversation of the police in Greek. Also the siren here. Which is something I have spread to the sides. This comes down, you know, to, to mixing, of course. And these are some of the effects that I have used. Let's see other effects here. The sweep up here. Okay, and again, the same caliber shooting here, this time four shots and they're delayed as you see. So these are all interesting ways for you to kind of unite one section with the other. Okay, a riser is a very used one. You can also use yours. Of course, I'm going to drop more effects into this project. We basically had only our verse. So if you notice closely, in every eight bars, I am including something new to the beat, something that will catch the ear of the listener. And this is something that you can use in every beat, not only in Drew Dive beats, of course. Let's look at how we continue. Okay, so we continue like this, ha, 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 this is the breath we are using and also these two melodies alternate between them playing one octave up and one octave down now what really is interesting here is that except from this which is you know cutting all of the other bits 
and only only this siren plays here. This makes a small transition between the, the, the previous part and the next part, which continues like, like this. So we basically have another new lead here, which is called the core. The reason I have two core stabs is because I'm hard banning them. No, I'm banning them left and right. I want you to have in your mind that when this kicks in, there should be a little more space as long as it comes to frequency wise. That's why I am automating this frequency band here from the EQ. I know I said that I won't go into mixing, but this has to do more with uh, the duration of the track, the, the arrangement, the whole, you know, how, how the, the beat continues. So that's why I'm focusing here. So I'm basically having this band there from the EQ. So let's see, at this point, we are here, 665. And at this point of the beat, we are 422. So this means this plays on solo. And you can't notice this, this so much so that this is filtered out and it changes in frequency because this plays on the higher octave, octave. So if we go here and here, we have a lot more lows, low frequencies than this. And the reason is because this core hits in and we want to leave some space when it comes to mixing wise. Now let's continue to another thing, which is, let's see what happens with the break here. A small break there. And as soon as the break the break hits in, we have another new element which is the chords. Again, this play, you know, a mid frequency role here on the leads and the woodwinds play a more mid high frequency role on our beat. Which is the second element of this verse 2.1. I'm also changing, you know, how some drums are sounding maybe, or how some perk loops that I have here are laid out within the beat. I also have this. Which is the same thing, you know, this is the same thing with this, but just reversed. So I'm using, okay, like this. And I'm panning also this perk loop. Now, how I'm doing this basically without changing the panning here or automating the panning here. On Ableton, you can do this. Uh, on Cubase, you can do this also. I don't think, I, I, I don't know if you can do this on Little Studio, but there's certainly a way for you to automate clips and not just the panning actually, not the, not the fader, the panning. So you can go over to envelopes. If you don't see envelopes, first of all, double click on this. And if you don't see envelopes, there is the, the arrow here. And you basically, when you do this, you automate how uh, it's going left and right. Okay. Okay, and this is more, you know, to, to catch the attention of the listener. Okay, these are all elements to add something new to every eight bars, like I said before. And this is somehow how your beat is going to get full. Okay, so this video could be only about that. How to full duration your beat. Because too many people get stuck on how they can continue their four-bar loop and they get stuck on this same 
loop forever and you hear all over the beat this. And you have also extremely interesting. And then it changes back, you know, to the start of the loop. This really gets me tired personally as a producer. So imagine what it does to your listener. So, and if all listeners, you know, aren't that, you know, aren't that weird as uh, maybe some producers are, uh, yeah, you should improve basically thinking about your potential and not thinking about your listeners potential and how quickly are they bored so how quickly are you bored when you're listening to this beat okay and i get that this is a lot more harder because too many times we think that a beat needs everything and basically uh, it maybe needs something a little more simpler in order to become you know the the, the final version okay so I want you to have this in your mind really deep because this is a thin line here and we're going to talk, in this, to talk about this uh, maybe on an Instagram live stream some other time. Now, the free gifts are again the same. If you haven't downloaded yet the MIDI loops I'm using on this project, now you can, they're down below in the description. Now, if you find more interesting my content, you can follow me up on social media here comment, like, subscribe because it helps very much this channel to become greater and also your comments will become uh, my feedback in order to improve my content. And finally, if you think that you are the type of producer that you want to move on with your career and you want to learn more about that, I will drop a link onto the description on how I was able to make $1k plus as a producer. So give a big smile to yourself, GG, stay creative. Theodore, Poison Brain Productions, out. <laughs>